Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse Photon IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started. So in order to install Eclipse on your Ubuntu operating system, you need to have a Java JDK installed on your system and then you will be able to install the Eclipse IDE. So I have written here two ways of installing uh, Java JDK on your Ubuntu operating system. One is if you want to install open JDK version of uh, Java, then this is the command for doing so. If you are interested in installing the Oracle Java version, then these are the commands for installing the Oracle Java JDK and all these commands I'm going to give you in the description of this video. So you can directly copy these commands and paste it into your terminal. And then you can install Java JDK on your Ubuntu operating system. In this case, I'm going to use the open JDK version of Java. So I'm going to just uh, copy this command and I'm going to open the terminal. To open the terminal, you can just press Control Alt T and the terminal will be open or otherwise you can uh, click on this icon here and then search for uh, the terminal and then you can click on this terminal and the terminal will be open so once your terminal is open i'm going to paste the command which i have copied which is sudo apt get install open jdk hyphen eight hyphen jdk and then press enter and then I'm going to give the password of my Ubuntu operating system and then press enter, which is going to start installing this open JDK. And in here, I'm going to just press Y and then press enter. And then I just need to wait for the installation to complete. So I'm going to leave this command to run and finish. And by the meantime, I'm going to just download a Eclipse IDE installer. So just search for Eclipse on your favorite browser. And the first link which will appear here will be from eclipse.org. So I'm going to click on this link. And once you are inside this eclipse.org uh, website, you will be directly able to see uh, this download button on the top right hand side. Or otherwise you can uh, just scroll down and you can see here the newest version available for Eclipse is Eclipse Photon. And then if you want to learn more about Eclipse Photon, then you can uh, just click on this button. And there also you will uh, be able to see the download button. So I'm going to click on this download button here. And then you will be able to see uh, this kind of download page. And when you scroll down, you will be able to see uh, this option which says get Eclipse Photon. And then uh, you just need to click on this button which is uh, download 64 bit for the Linux operating system. And here you will be able to see the download button once again. So I'm going to click on this button and then you can see uh, this Eclipse installer will be downloaded as a .tar.gz file. So I'm going to save this uh, tar.gz file on my Ubuntu operating system. It's about 45 megabyte file. So it will take some time to download. So once this download is complete, we are going to start installing Eclipse. So now this uh, tar.gz file is downloaded on my Ubuntu operating system. So I will go to the directory where I have downloaded this file and I'm going to extract it. But before that, let's see if our open JDK command is finished or not. So you can see uh, my open JDK command is finished. That means Java is installed on my system. So what I can do here is I'm going to give uh, this command Java minus uh, version and then press enter and it returns me the version of uh, Java which I have installed. So if you see uh, this kind of output when you give uh, this command then Java is installed properly on your Ubuntu operating system and now you are ready to install Eclipse. So I'm going to minimize the browser first of all and uh, you can see we have this uh, tar.gz file. So I'm going to extract this file inside my uh, downloads folder itself. So I'm going to just say extract here. And now you can see this is the folder which is extracted from this uh, tar.gz file. So I'm going to 
go inside this folder and once again I'm going to go inside the Eclipse installer folder and here you will be able to see some uh, directories and some files. So the important file for us is this one which is Eclipse minus inst. So this is a binary so we can right click on uh, this uh, binary and then we can just click on this run option which is going to start the installer. So you can see the installer has been started and now I can see this kind of uh, window here. So here you will be able to see uh, different uh, options for installing Eclipse IDE. So if you want to install Eclipse IDE for uh, Java developers, this is the one you can choose. If you want to develop C and C++ programs, then you can choose this version. If you want to use Eclipse IDE for Java development and web development, then you can choose this version. And there are many uh, kind of Eclipse IDE which is available. So what we are going to do is we are going to choose the first option which is Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So I'm going to just click on this option and then you will be able to see uh, this path. This is the default path where your Eclipse IDE will be installed. So I'm going to just click on uh, this install button which is going to start installing this Eclipse IDE and now in between you will be able to see this kind of uh, license terms and conditions uh, window. So if you agree with those license terms and conditions you can just uh, check this checkbox and then just press on uh, the accept button which is going to continue the installation process. So I'm going to wait for the installation to complete and now after some time I can see uh, this message which says do you trust these certificates? I'm going to just select uh, all so I'm going to click on this button which says select all and then I'm going to just press on accept selected and then the installation will uh, continue and now I can see uh, that the installation is finished and I can see uh, this launch button so I'm going to click on this launch button which is going to launch the Eclipse IDE for me. Now for the first time when Eclipse starts it will ask you for selecting the default workspace where all your project will be saved. So this is the default workspace which is selected by Eclipse for you. So if you have the good reason to change it, you can uh, change it by clicking this browse button and then just browsing to the directory which you want to set it as default. So I'm going to leave this uh, path as default. And I'm going to check this checkbox which says use this uh, as a default and do not ask again. And I'm going to click on the launch button. And now you can see Eclipse IDE has been uh, launched. So I'm going to maximize it. So let's create a Java project in order to verify that everything is working fine with this Eclipse IDE. So I'm going to click on this file option and then I'm going to uh, select new and then uh, Java project. And in here, I'm going to give uh, the name of my Java project, for example, hello world. And you can see this is the default uh, location of your project, which is inside the Eclipse workspace. And under JRE, you can see that Eclipse has chosen this Java SE 1.8 by default uh, for your project, which is OK. So I'm going to leave it as default. And then I'm going to leave also this project layout also as default and I'm going to just say finish which is going to create my project. But when your project is created because this welcome window is open you will not be able to see it. So we need to minimize this welcome window by clicking on this minimize button. And once you click on this minimize button you will be able to see this hello world project which you have created. So you can see uh, there is a source folder here. So I'm going to right click on this uh, source folder and I'm going to just say new. And then uh, we are going to create a class here. And in this uh, new Java class window, I'm going to just give the name of my class, for example, demo. And then under the section which says which method stubs would you like to uh, create, we are going to check this checkbox also which says public static void main which is going to create this method for us and we are going to click finish now 
which is going to create this demo.java file. So now I can see this demo.java file here. And uh, this is the default uh, code, which is auto generated by Eclipse for us. So let's print something. I'm going to just write uh, system.out.println for print line. And inside the parenthesis and inside the double quotes, I'm going to just write hello world. So just print uh, hello world and then I'm going to save my program and I'm going to run my program by just clicking on this uh, green icon here which is going to compile the program and run the program and on the console here you can see uh, this hello world message is printed that means everything is working fine so in this way you can download and install Eclipse Photon IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.